Welcome! Today I'm going to teach you what type of operator does in JavaScript. It takes the value and returns the type of the value in a string format. This is very useful for when you want to check the type of the variable or you want to execute some specific lines of code based on the type. There are seven different types in JavaScript. Let's get into some examples. The first example of type of will be boolean and we can just use console log to print out the type of using the keyword type of and passing an argument such as false. Refresh that, as you can see it returns boolean because type of false False is a boolean. So that's first type. Second type is undefined. I should put boolean in strings as well. And if we refresh that, we'll see that that's undefined. The third type is a number. So so we can pass any number. If you refresh, see the type of seven is a number. Fourth type will be a string. Let's just pass seven in quotes, and the type of will return string. next type is an object. So if we pass any kind of object to type off, such as a it will return an object. Now here's a funny thing. There's a special case. Let's just call this 5a, okay? 5b, type 5b, is also an object. This is a bug that has been around since the early version of JavaScript. When you pass null to type of, it will return an object instead of null. As you can see, If we refresh, we have two objects because 5a, case 5a, we're testing type of and we're passing an object, returns an object. 5b, we're passing a null and it's returning an object instead of a null. Unfortunately, this has been a bug since the early versions of JavaScript. Let's go into case six. The sixth type is a function. So if you do type of and you pass any kind of function, such as let's say name, JavaScript will print out type of a function as a function. And the last type is from ES6 version of JavaScript. And that's a symbol. We did type of symbol.
Now, how would you use this? Well, let's say we have a variable dev delight, which equals to a number seven. What we can do is check if type of dev delight equals to a number, then we can add one to it, for example. Okay. Else, if type of def delight equals to a string, then we'll just print out this is a string. Or we can do a manipulation such as just print it out and print out the string. Let's say we have a default case. So right now it's a number. So our dev delight plus plus, which is dev delight adds to itself, should get executed. So it should be print out eight. Oh, we have an error. Oh, else if we all make mistakes, especially when we're coding. That's the beauty of programming, right? Let's refresh. And as you can see, we have a seven. So if we change this seven to a string, now the type of dev delight that checks for string will get executed. Let's refresh. This is a string, seven. So I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe somewhere below and I'll see you next time.